Welcome to the channel and welcome to part one of this narrative campaign, The Pariah Experiment. The Pariah Nexus is an extremely troubling area of space. Spacecraft have been marooned, astropathic messages have been blocked and the Imperium have discovered that it is the work of the Necrons. They have been constructing some kind of web that dampens all psychic activity. Spacecraft have been thrown back into the Immaterium from the warp and planets within it are effectively cut off from the rest of the Imperium and laid bare to all forms of the Imperium's enemies. This will not do. This will not stand. And it must come to I'm joined on the channel today by Sultan! Hello! I was in a corner. Yeah, I just walked <laughs> into a table. I did. Well, I yeah, yeah. So, thank you very much for coming up to play this game, with play, play this campaign. Yeah, well, thank you for inviting me. You're, oh, you're very welcome. We're, doing, we're pulling a weekender, aren't we? And we uh, filming all three parts in one go. Yeah, last time we didn't go... Uh, apparently insane enough, so we're doing it again. <laughs> yes, yes. We lost our marbles a bit on that first one. We have residual sanity left, and that will not stand. No. So, uh, <laughs> so we need to rid ourselves of it. Much like, much like the Imperium needs to rid itself of the Pariah next. Perfect. Well, quite. There we go. Okay, so we've got a lot to go through and a lot to talk about, and there will be much rejoicing. <laughs> but first, some admin. So if you're new to the channel, um, you may infer already this is uh, pretty light-hearted and pretty uh, narrative-oriented. Um, very much for production values, the low production values. The idea is that you're meant to feel like you're in the room playing the game with us. If you're wanting something sort of focused and tight and neat, this probably isn't for you, because we'll probably go off-topic quite a bit. Uh, the other thing is uh, for the purposes of uh, letting narrate and well, Sultan's sort of already choking to death in the corner and trying not to... Uh, definitely trying not to breathe my drink in and I breathe it in. Yeah. <coughs> oh, you've got tea lung. Yeah, sorry. Tea lung. <coughs> Carry on. It's, it's quite all right. Uh, a very small number of house rules to add to narrative flavour, which I will briefly go through. Uh, there is a video up on the site somewhere that explains uh, the reason for any of these, but in short... Don't apply plus or minus one limits on dice roll modifiers. Let characters charge with units. So if a character and a unit are in coherency with each other and they're both going to charge the same target or targets, we make one roll and they either both succeed or both fail. Then everything goes back to normal. We take this command point rerolls and we don't limit the number of times a stratagem can be used in a phase. A few of the bits that probably won't apply, but our most important rule is we apply what we like to call narrative common sense we're telling a story and if when we're playing the game something doesn't feel right doesn't think it fits we change it because it makes narrative sense so if that uh, doesn't sound like your cup of tea this definitely isn't for you because that's the kind of stuff that this is all about Are you still there good good <laughs> splendid so, this is a three-part series. Part one is here on the YouTubes. Part two is going to be available over the next uh, couple of weeks in the Members Lounge. If you want to be a channel member and get these juicy, juicy narrative uh, Necron versus Death Watch video... It's Necrons versus Death Watch. These, these amazing Necrons versus Death Watch videos. Check out the channel description for... I can't believe I forgot that bit. For... Oh, this is going to be a long weekend, isn't it? <laughs> Check out the uh, video description for details of how to become a channel member. So, Lord Gilliman has... Uh, has tasked the Auto Xenos and the Adeptus Mechanicus to work out how to deal with the Pariah Nexus. And they have come up with a theory. Well, they have a number of theories, or more to the point, they have some unknowns they wish to eliminate. Not Sultan, he's not an unknown, and we do not need to eliminate him. Uh, well, I'm unknowable. You're a no. Just yes. eliminate me, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah indeed. Indeed, you could snap my neck just by looking from over there. <laughs> um, so they have a theory about cutting the head off the snake of a tomb world. 
what will happen if the overlord or lord or the commanding guiding force of a of a tomb world is taken out and destroyed so they have because the, knowing this will be tactically useful won't it I feel like knowing that you can kill one guy and the Tomb World falls apart, yes. That's yes. Probably very useful. I mean, it's probably very unlikely. Tomb Worlds are probably filled with all sorts of fail-safes and all sorts of routines where things go, you know, uh, sort of flow downwards. Um, you know, failover systems, all that, all that good stuff. Technology How, is magic. Indeed, right? indeed. Weirdo. However, if there were a Tomb World that was, say, run by a lord, not, even, not an overlord, mm-hmm. a lord, and didn't have a lot of royal servants, which it was a relatively small installation, then testing the theory to see what happens would be relatively straightforward because you bypass all those failover systems. I mean, it may be that taking out another massive tomb complex means you need to do 10 strikes on all sorts of different um, computer complex nodes yeah. and overlords and royal things you know, we, we take out these ten things within five seconds of each other and then it'll all collapse. Essentially, the, the audio Xenos are applying is the Synapse model of warfare with the Necrons and seeing if that works. They know it works against the Tyranids. Can it work against the Tomb World? Who knows? We don't know. They're doing all sorts of exploration in the hope of trying to find some way of dismantling the Pariah Nexus. So... So we have the Pariah experiment. We do. They have found an installation which they think is relatively isolated and currently dormant. And they have tasked the Death Watch with killing the Lord and removing the guiding force. They don't particularly have a view as to what will happen. I mean, the Tomb World may instantly awaken. The it may phase out and go to another uh, location. There may be another noble from another lord instantly phases in to take control of it. Well, it may explode. Yeah, well, we have our fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> it may just power down, or it may not. Or it might not. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> so this is an experiment. So the uh, Death Watch have been engaged to find out and the death watch commander charged with doing this is commander it's uh, captain rafariel so captain rafariel was a, a dark angel in his previous life and he's got the uh, honor of leading watch fortress tyrannis who have come recently from the fire and flames is the gehenna system and uh, their their current charge today is to go in and conduct this experiment and report their findings directly back to inquisitor name removed so we're going to we're going to go back and report there. During the briefing, Rafario outlined his plan to his watchmaster and teams. And as it was a large gathering of the Ordo Xenos, as Death Watch are being deployed across the Pariah Nexus, we noticed that Chaplain Alton Cassius is there, a hero of the Death Watch. And upon hearing Rafario's plan, he turned to one of his most trusted librarians, Cadicia Notorian, and said, "Go with them." Essentially, this is his unspoken way of saying, "I approve of this plan." I'm sending one of my most trusted advisors with you. So to that end, a small force is entering into this dormant tomb world. And upon entering, they've seen a massive power surge in one of the lower levels. So they split their forces. Commander Rafael is taking the larger force to go and deal with the primary objective. And sending a Notorian with uh, the commander of the forces, Lieutenant Kovach, to go and... Sorry, Lieutenant Riker to go and have a look at this power surge and deal with it as required because it doesn't take a genius to understand that power plus Necrons is bad, especially in a dormant tomb world. So they're going to go and deal with that in whatever means they see fit. Because part of it's, it's uh, if I understand correctly, the, the the rationale is that there's a bit of fear that just entering the tomb world might awaken it. Exactly. And by taking out the biggest source of power in the tomb complex they can find, they're going to they think they might forestall that possibility? Exactly. Based on their previous experiences working with the Necrons, they understand that taking out key power nodes uh, with the Necrons around them means that things don't things like automated sentry guns, for example, won't power up. So they're hoping that at the very least, even if the tomb world is awakening, they can shut down some of those automated systems before the rest of the world or rest of the tomb world awakens. So they're going in to deal with that while Rafael leads the main armoured strike group to go and deal with the primary objective. They dropped in via Corvus Blackstar. 
So they have two Corvus Black Stars sat in or in circuit above, and uh, there is a commander outside uh, who is looking after the system. That's Commander Elias, and he's uh, looking after the LZ, uh, LZ, while the team goes in. So the idea would be complete the mission, and no doubt would be a fighting withdrawal. So they're ready with gunship support and uh, fast attack outside the gates of the Tomb World. So you've effectively got your your commander who's taken direct your captain is taking direct charge of the assault on the uh the Necron Lord. Yeah. Whilst he sent a, a subordinate to take out the power mm-hmm. and charge someone else with holding the uh the LZ, the the the, the route to withdraw. Exactly. Because you guys have got absolutely no idea what's gonna happen when you do this. If, uh, basically we want to know that if all goes wrong we can get out as fast as we came in. Excellent. And the Auto Xenos and the Electrus Mechanicus have all manner of sensory technology studying this site and also nearby known adjacent, uh, nearby Necron sites that are not on this planet, but I'm saying nearby is a very, <laughs> is a yeah. very relative, uh, very relative term uh, to see what happens when this particular baby snake is decapitated. Mm-hmm. See if the uh, high gain, long range all specs picks up anything different if this gets deactivated successfully. So that is the story of the Pariah experiment. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be interesting. This is a lot. Of, they're throwing a lot of eggs into a basket here. Yeah, oh, it's only twenty <laughs> Death Watch Marines. There's always more where they came from. You just go around each chapter with your begging bowl and say another ten, please. Yeah, can I have your best, please? And then yeah. you bleed the Imperium dry ball. That's what happens. Yes, mate. Yeah, well, you're a chaos player sometimes. Yes, yes, mate, yeah. <laughs> but the Death Watch, you're all right. <laughs> you see, but the thing is, though, Space Marines act in role. If you've got a Lime Marine, as soon as you promote him to a veteran sergeant, he starts acting like a veteran sergeant and doing veteran sergeant things. So actually, as long as you've got the flow of novitiates going th- through, you've got a limitless supply of veterans, lieutenants, and captains. So all you have to do is take the veterans out of each chapter and more just, just become veterans. Yep, that's exactly how that works. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's a plan. Narrative with... common sense. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that's precisely why the Death Watch have been chosen for this. This isn't a take a, uh, a chapter company and throw it at this tomb. Mm. This is a tactical insertion. This is a laser scalpel to do a very specific job. And they expect a low casualty rate because mm. of who they're sending. They are the right... The This is what the Death Watch are for. Yeah. This is what they do. Answering questions and dealing with those problems that otherwise couldn't be dealt with or questions that could be answered. So this might be a perfect time to actually go and take a look at the Death Watch Strike Force. <laughs> the Death Watch... Oh, oh, segue like a pro. I've stopped him. Yep. I've stopped him from getting any, fur- any further close, any closer because we haven't talked through the objective. So this is the battlefield. So objective first, then armies. What do we do first? Objectives. Then what do we do next? Armies. Right. So the uh, the Death Watch are going to be coming from here. This is a chamber they've located in the uh, lower parts of the tomb world, which contains one, two, three, four mm. plasma. That's why the stick's so handy, you see. Mm. You can just do that with it. <laughs> Long arms. Uh... These yeah. are power conduits. Power conduits. Yeah. Th- thanks. <laughs> and um, the goal of the Death Watch is to take these out. And the way that's going to work is planting the demo charges on these uh, on these conduits is going to be an action. Yes. An action started in the movement phase, completed in their in the subsequent command phase in, in the Death Watch's subsequent command phase. Yes. So the Necrons get a turn to shoot. The Death Watch, or punch the Death Watch, who knows? However they want to do it. Yeah, yeah. To get the Death Watch off that objective before they disable those nodes. How many nodes they disable will determine what else happens in the subsequent games. Mm. And they are the only victory conditions. There are no sort of, you win, you lose. I guess you, if you kill, destroy all four, you win. Yes. But there's a, there's a combination of how many people you lose doing it, and... It's, it's going to tell a story. Absolutely, yeah. The more people I lose, the harder follow-on missions are going to be. Um, and the more generators that are left alive at the end, more conduits that are left around, also the hard, how hard the mission, the following mission is going to be. Yeah. So it's it's a, it's a, definitely a trade-off here. Do I carry on wait, spending lives to destroy these, or do I try and preserve some life for the end? 
Let's go and have a look at that life. <laughs> Take a look at the Death Watch. And this is probably an appropriate point to mention. This is a thousand point game. So here is a thousand points of Death Watch. Yes. What am I looking at, Mr. Sultan, sir? Okay, so we're looking at a battalion detachment, and we have this is the small force that's been sent down to deal with the power generators. So as you can see, it's regular power armor dude. No heavy power armor here, no terminators, nothing like that, and no fast attack. These guys are foot sloggers been sent down, and they're being led today by Lieutenant Riker at the front here, who uh, in his former life was a salamander. He has a combi melter, a thunder hammer, and a jump pack. So he's going to be zipping across the field, helping everybody out, seeing what's going on. That does not look like a jump pack. <laughs> it's a grab shoot, <laughs> yeah. But I've given him the uh, the old jump pack rules, and he's got a nice, uh, nice drake skin on his back there. Ah, he's a flying dragon, got it. He's a flying dragon, he's got wings. So he's going to be moving across and uh, supporting his team, and he's taken the warlord trait of optimised priority, because he fully understands that his team are going to be conducting actions, planting deck packs, stuff like that. So he's going to be leading them and directing their fire so they can continue to shoot while conducting actions. So that... Ha that, ha that Come on, words! In brain words! Hit that an ability he can use to buff nearby units so they can shoot thick as well as action if I... Yeah, it's an aura. So he just has to stand near them. Gotcha. He's actually shouted at them, fire over there now, so they don't have to think about it as much so they can continue concentrating on their task at hand. Yeah, uh, 37 degrees, 10 degrees elevation, three rounds three rounds rapid. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. Um, next we've got Caduceus and Notorian. <laughs> yeah, they're not looking. They're not looking, they're typing away. Caduceus Notorian is our battle psyker today. He's been uh, seconded to us by um, Orson Cassius himself, and he's looking after the young lieutenant. Um, so when Rafario split up the squads, he sent this grizzled warrior to go with the younger of his junior officers, uh, which I think makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. So Notorian today, he has a special rule called Battle Psyker. When he casts Smite, he gets plus one to cast. Okay. And uh, he also has a psychic hood, so within 12 inch range he can deny the witch. Not going to matter here. No, <laughs> Five no. Necrons. Um, powers he has. He has the uh, Fortified with Contempt, which is a five up feel no pain on a unit that he chooses. Right, yep. Yeah, which is really cool. And he's also got uh, Premorphic Resonance, which does three things. They can overwatch on a five plus. Still have to spend the CP to do that. Um, they get plus one to hit in combat, and they always fight first. For that unit that he picks. Right out. So that's that's kind of the standard Death Watch ones you see, because they're the good ones. The other ones are a little bit naff. So that's that. Behind them, we have two squads of Death Watch veterans, the basic guys he used to get. They're so, so cool. So that they're super, super cool squads. So we've got Choppy Squad and a Shooty Squad. Yep. So Choppy Squad here, we have a sergeant with a heavy thunder hammer. And then we have a regular guy with a heavy thunder hammer. Yeah, nice. Um, then we've got a black shield here as two close combat weapons. He's got a lightning claw and a thunder hammer. Nice. Um, he gets an extra two attacks if he an extra sorry extra attack if he has double close combat weapons. <laughs> and he can also heroically intervene like a character for a couple of CP, which is pretty cool. Nice. He's a beat stick. Then we've got a bunch of shields and bolt guns, just as you know, generally round out the squad they're moving up taking fire on the shields and these three will come wheeling out behind the shield wall and start smacking stuff the shooty squad we have two frag cannons which are super super cool um we've got a death watch shotgun also super cool they have multiple modes of firing an infernus heavy bolter which I was is a say, heavy it, it, look, it looked like a three frag cannons but it's not it's a heavy bolter with a flamethrower attached yeah strapped to it yeah heavy bolter and a heavy flamer another shield guy to round up the squad and the sergeant here is a combi plasma and a xenophase blade which is basically a power sword that's ap minus four and ignore that, that you saves. nicked from us yeah yeah we're having that back he probably picked up in the hallway you well, know? yeah all right <laughs> just hang on a oh shelf. that's derek's <laughs> exactly so you want that back um on the right here we have a Spectrus kill team, which is the Phobos style Ooh. kill team. So we have the Sergeant and four Infiltrators, because you have to have five Infiltrators in a squad. Right. This one is a Helix Adept, which basically means the first damage that comes through that I fail to save counts yep. as zero. Yep. The first time. Yep. Um, every battle round. Oh, one of them's got a big bomb. Yes. This is, uh, he's been used as an, inf an Infiltrator today for... Uh, because I was using the other model that's very cool for something else. So he's uh, he's here just as an infiltrator today, but normally he's an incursor with a haywire mine. Ah, so right. he's going to be uh, an infiltrator, but he's still slapping mines. Well, yeah, he's, he's, he's strapping that onto one of the uh, power non non -duit conduits. Yeah. And then this iron snake behind him is carrying a bunch of other kit to slap things to as well. So they're all going to be uh, infiltrating, doing what they do. Three Sweet. snipers in the backfield, all heavy bolt rifles. 
they are what they are. Yeah, so basically they're covering fire for everything else. 100%. Sort of, on your left! You're on the left! <laughs> exactly. So that's that's their entire job, just to cover the thing, and he's throwing a knife instead of shooting. Why not? <laughs> it's like you're supposed to use the gun. Throws no, the gun. look, he's scratching his back. <laughs> yeah, he's giving a nice little back scratch because the knife's bent a little bit, Paul, in transit. Oh, no. Oh, well. How has that happened in your big magnetizing boxy bag thing? Uh, it is a previous transit, I think. Ah. <laughs> Finally, Pre- pre-magnet. Pre-magnet. Pre-magnet, indeed. And then finally, a Fortis kill team. In this case, it's all uh, intercessors of a kind. So we have two Hellblasters with assault plasma incinerators. And then the rest are regular intercessors with a Minotaur as the sergeant who has a thunder hammer and a hand flame. Oh! Yeah. So, yeah, everyone has their own chapter. So, you know, an Iron Hand, Imperial Fist, Silver Skull, Scythe of the Emperor. It's all, it's all fun. Nice. And that's the list. It's pretty simple. So what basically... But at a fundamental level, what do Death Watch do? What's their shtick? What's their thing? Like, what's their chapter tactic? That's their a... chapter tactic, yes. yeah. So against all Xenos, um, they re-roll hit rolls of one in the fight phase, is their standard thing. Nice. And at the start of the game, they can choose a battlefield roll. So as soon as everyone's set up, I choose a battlefield roll from your army, and every time I shoot that battlefield roll, I re-roll a wound roll of one. Okay. So, for example... If I chose troops, every time I shoot at Necron Warriors, I'll re-roll a wound roll of one across the army. Okay. Does that make Makes sense? sense? Yeah, Makes yeah. Sense. yeah. One thing I forgot to mention, he has a relic. Oh! <laughs> he has the uh, Artificer armor. Right. Uh, which is two plus save and a five plus in burn. Okay. Because lieutenants don't usually have anything. Yes. I'd quite like him to d- live. D- yes, to not be just... Smushed. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Instantly by, you know, anything. Anything at all. Yeah. One other thing for Death Watch, sorry. Um, combat doctrines are a thing. But right. However, instead of having to go Devastator, Tactical, Assault, I can choose any of them. Right. At any point, but I can only do Devastator once, I can only do Tactical twice, and I can only do Assault three times. So basically I can start in the Assault Doctrine if I'd like to. And then go Tactical and then go back and to then Assault. And go Devastator and then go Tactical and then go back to Assault or whatever. So you've got one use of Devastator, one use of... Two use of Tactical. Two use of Tactical and up to three, three uses of... of Assault. So it lasts the five rounds, basically. Right, Okay. Yeah, so basically Death Watch are a bit more flexible with how they use combat doctrines. They can choose which one they use at any time. Feels like they should have just said you can choose which one you want in any turn rather than limiting by numbers, but... It's so you can't just stay in Devastator the entire time and ruin people. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't affect narrative play. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't get started on that. You, not. You've, you've been here four hours and we've not <laughs> done anything yet. Perfect time to look at some Necrons, Paul. Hooray! <laughs> And here we have a thousand points of Necrons of the Zarakan dynasty. So this is supposed to represent the kind of things that will be knocking about in a tomb that isn't very active. Warriors can be roused very, very easily from their suspension. It absolutely knackers them, it destroys half of them, and it um, sort of tears apart the remaining shreds of intelligence from half the others. But it's easy. And... They don't care. This plasmancer who's noticed something has come into his tomb doesn't care. So has roused some of these warriors to consciousness. These other constructs have been around for uh, millennia upon millennia upon millennia. What's the word word for millions of years? It's not millennia, it's million millions mil- million enema. No, that's 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 two very different things. Eons. Eons. Eon thank good man. Good man. They have been awake and tending this tomb for eons. So, uh, the Plasmancer is the um, is the army general. Um, the Zarakan dynasty. Let's start with the Zarakan dynasty because that's what I've got written at the top of the piece of paper. Uh, so their thing is they get a five plus shrug against mortal wounds, and their um, that's because their bodies are so well made. Their weapons are so well made. They get to reroll one wound in any set of attacks. And they also get another rule that won't apply in this game. So there's not an awful lot of point of talking about it. It's to do with proto- uh, command protocols. And they're not active unless you've got a, a, a noble leading the army, which we haven't in this instance. Because this is this is deep in, uh, in Cryptech country. Uh, so, a Plasmancer, he's got a couple of uh, special gubbinses which will go through in a lot of detail when they come up he's uh, but basically he can do living lightning damage in the fight phase to people near him 
and he can unleash plasma at long range in the psychic phase. I think it's the psychic phase called the Harbinger of Destruction. It, it's a mortal wound thing. Um, his warlord trait is Enduring Will. He takes minus one to damage. Because there aren't many warlord traits that you can actually give to a cryptech that makes sense. Most of them are about conquering and stuff. But uh, Enduring Will, he has, he has the Will of Eons. So minus one to damage. His relic is the uh, Nano Scarab Casket. His. Um, is it Oubliette? Is full of Nano Scarabs. And whenever he recovers wounds from the Living Metal Rule, which is regains a wound at the start of the turn, he will regain two wounds instead. He also has a piece of Cryptech Arcana, which is the Quantum Orb, which I throw in, um, in my command phase. And it detonates in the following command phase. Uh, it's a little bit like a Space Marine Orbital Strike. Uh, but very funny. Yeah, don't throw it at the power conduit. Good point. Well well made. <laughs> well made. Yeah. Just throw it. Oh, crap. <laughs> no, it should only affect you, he says, for no apparent reason. <laughs> uh, dear... Okay, so he has got his um, his two lackeys, his bodyguards, that can take wounds for him. They're actually reasonably punchy, these guys, but there are only two of them, and I can't remember their name. Crypto Thralls. Thank you, good man. Two units of 20 warriors, ten with, sorry, 20 with Gorse Blasters, 10 to 20 with Gorse Flayers. Yeah. Uh, you know my army better. How do you know my army better than I do? Painting a few Necrons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just a couple. Yeah. Uh, three wraiths with one of the guns whose name I can't remember. The little gun. The one that's not super death. They've got a gun. It'll become relevant when I fire it. Mm. <coughs> eight units, eight bases of scarabs. They're cool. They're good, scarabs. Yeah, but I mean... Reasonably decent. <coughs> um, I just like the video that they used to launch, 9th edition, where... The uh, the sisters and the marine are fighting against the um, the necrons, mm. and as they're charging in, just hordes and hordes of scarabs just throw themselves at the enemy. Yeah. So I have painted. I've got tons of these bases, just because that is very much what I see happening in every necron encounter. Yeah, they're very all, cool. All the tiny little scarabs just throwing themselves at the enemy. Very good. And they are being shepherded by two uh, tomb spiders, two cryptic tomb spiders. One has a big gum, the other has a gloom prism. Daka spider. Uh, both have uh, fabricator arrays, although I don't think there's much to fabricate. Uh, the gloom prism lets me deny the witch. It is an anti-psychic prism. Underslung. On his underslung. Oh no. Yes. Uh, I'm probably forgetting something, but maybe I'm not. That's a thousand points of... Necrons. Uh, I was going to say Craftworld, Zarakan, that's definitely the wrong thing. Dynasty. Zarakan Di- Dynasty. 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 Sorry. Din- Dynasty. No, you, you said Craftworld, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I said Craft. Oh, no, I didn't say Craftworld. I said Craftworld. Oh, I said it wrong then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not in this part of the world, my lad. <laughs> Midlands. <laughs> oh, you've got Midlands on you. Okay, let's go to deployment. And here we are after deployment. Sultan, would you talk me through your deployment, please, sir? Absolutely. So, elephant in the room, infiltrators are a bit far forward. That's because they've been infiltrating. Yep. (laughs) So we discussed it beforehand, and even though they've just arrived, they went sprinting ahead, scouting the room. And uh, since then, I've noticed the ominous green glow on the horizon. Absolutely. The the sickly, twisted (laughs) green glow. (laughs) Exactly. So we have the shooty Death Watch veteran squad moving forward with Lieutenant Riker, looking to uh, go towards these nearest two conduits in the centre. And up on the left flank, we have two squads pushing up with Cudicia and the Torian. So the punchy squad with him ready for him to buff them with his psychic might. And then the larger forces kill team moving up, starting to uh, train their sights on the uh, encroaching horrors. Okie dokie. Well, on the Necron side of things, the... um... From the back of the chamber, the constructs are flooding in to uh, from nearby chambers. Uh, they've been around doing normal 
I was going to say admin, that's the, maintenance, that's the word. Similar to admin in many ways, but also fundamentally different. Mm. And the uh, Plasmancer has phased in with its two squads of Necron Warriors. One by each of the um, power conduit constructs. And that's where we got to. Yeah, uh, it's also worth noting for the Death Watch Battlefield role, the army choice, I chose troops. So I'll be re-rolling hit roll, wound rolls of one against Necro Warriors. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's do the thing. Good you luck, too. sir. You too. I'd you like to go first. You'd like to go first, <laughs> would you? Yeah. Thank you. And I'm also going to choose the tactical doctrine. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Death Watch, turn one. So after the movement phase on this flank, this kill team has run as fast as it can to get to this uh, this power node to maximise on their advantage. They are in range and have started planting their explosive devices. Yeah, this guy at the front. The guy at the front with the massive bomb. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and uh, Lieutenant Commander Riker has followed up in their wake... Uh, these guys have moved over to get line of sight. They have the, the heads-up display in their helmets telling them they are in range of these warriors, or at least two of them are, mm -hmm. and they are going to take the shots rather than advancing. Over here, being the good Astartes that they are, using the lee of this building to advance towards these Necrons, try and restrict the Necrons' ability to fire as much as possible. they fought Necrons before. They know these weapons are close range. And this unit maximising on the, the long-range firearms that they have and attempting to thin out... are going to attempt to thin out these warriors mm. at a distance. At a distance. Have a... Pardon? <laughs> at a distance. I don't know why. Sorry. Carry what? on. What, what does that mean? Not a clue. I'm just saying at a distance in a sing song voice. So it, 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 yeah. it, is, it is late. <laughs> it is late. I'll let you off. We're going we're gonna to do some psychics now. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. All right, so I'm looking for uh, both Premorphic Resonance and uh, the other one that gives them a finite feel no pain. I forget so the name. So Premorphic Resonance. Okay, so cast on. Six. That goes off. <laughs> so they, Scarily. Yeah, so they'll hit on twos in combat now. Okay. Or get plus one to hit, as I should say. And they always fight first. So okay. charge me, is I'm concerned about big, fast-moving wraiths. Well, yes, but because of the way the rule works, if I charge you, I will still get to select a fighting select. first yeah. unit first. It's more the two to hit. Yeah. <laughs> With yeah. heavy thunder hammers. Yeah. 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 Okay, now we're going to... Uh, sorry, just before you do. So yeah. the Gloom Prism is uh, about three inches out of range, and uh, the Zarakan do have another ability... Uh, a stratagem that they can use to uh, dampen the psychic powers. However, you have to be close to a Zarakan unit for me to use it. So you have free reign at the moment. Thank you. So now we're going to try and do Fortified with Contempt, which is also a six. He's used up his powers and he's perilsed. Yep. So we take a, the energy coursing through this chamber has mm. just uh, has leached into his brain. Yeah. D3 mortal wounds for one. For one. He just, ow, that hurts a bit. How many did you start with? I believe it's four. I'll double check afterwards. Okie dokie. Cool. That's the psychic phase. A mixed bag. A mi <laughs> Quite. <laughs> in fact, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I've taken a wound off your uh, your second in command. Yep. Hooray! <laughs> Say that thing again that you just said to me. So I'm spending two command points, two of my hard-earned command points, of one of which I got back at the start of the turn. Um... Paul does it differently, don't you? Did, do. you, you didn't get it back. I mean, it was a new one. I got a new one at the start. Of the it turn. was spontaneously created out of thin air. Yes. Like so quantitative easing. There we go. So I got, I got a new one. So basically, I'm playing steady advance. So these guys didn't move. So they'll get bolted discipline and can fire twice with their bolt rifles. Splendid. Splendid. I'm going to count some dice, Paul. Yes. I often film that. Oh. <laughs> I know. And what <laughs> does Winters tell you? And he does this as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it really one bothers more. him. One more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there yeah. we go. He'll never watch this. He'll never watch this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're hitting on threes. But you're getting re-rolls and stuff, aren't you? Uh, not at this point, no. So that's I, a lot of hits. I thought, didn't you get something special for Necron Warriors and for... Uh, that's wounds. Re-roll wound rolls of one. I thought you get... What, what's your basic... 
plus one. So it's re-roll hit rolls of one in the fight phase. Fight for, right. Yes. With yes. you. With me. With you. Excellent. So uh, now we are going to be wounding on... Your toughness four? Yep. So fours, re-rolling any ones. There is one. One, one. One, one. And, that, ooh, that, that was pretty good. That's pretty good. pretty good. This is two, four, six, eight, nine at AP minus two, because I'm the tactical doctor. AP minus two? Yeah. Goodness me. Saving on sixes. <gasps> no. Right. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's looking through his stratagems. He's looking through his stratagems. I potentially could put, do him one in a minute. We'll stand by. We'll stand by on that. I'm about to do the reanimation. Oh, you, you got more guns yeah, to fire? Yeah, more guns to fire. So there's two uh, soft plasma incinerators, three shots each. So they hit on threes. We're not going to charge because you have one wound. So threes, no rerolls. Glad I didn't have to overcharge. And we'll wound on strength six, so threes. Threes, yep. Uh, one reroll, one. Wound, wound, one. No, so one wound, AP minus five. Boop. Nice. So how many have we got left? A few, a few, a few, a few. So I can't do rapid fire because now I can't see the squad. So what I'm going to do is. Fire, it's, all, it's all simultaneous. It's all fired from one. Well, rapid fire, shoot again. Oh yeah. right, yes. Yeah. So I would, I would only be able to shoot no, no, two of no, my guys. No, I, I it's can, not worth it. I concur. Agreed. Um, so what I'm going to do instead to make your life a bit harder is spend one CP on overkill. What's this then? So it's. Uh, Basically, we're, we're experts. We know where to shoot the Necrons. So instead of reanimating on 5+, plus, it's 6+. plus, Or just 6. Extensive experience has taught the Death Watch to pulverise and sunder Necrons with bolt and blade even after they fall. Mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> so minus 1 to my reanimation protocols. Eight okay. Uh, six, ten. But I still reroll 1 because I'm Necron Warriors. Nice. And I haven't got any canopic reanimators in this list because I didn't think they'd be in the tomb. Uh, <laughs> There's two. There's two and no ones. So two. Boop. Yeah. JK, Boop. we're back. We're back. <laughs> it's your boy. Some discussion about whether or not to try and use the rapid fire stratagem, but uh, it's specific to a, to an intercessor unit rather than intercessors in a kill team. Which yes. Is a, it's, I guess is one of the trade-offs for yeah. a Death Watch. It's it's lots of different combined uh, battlefield skills in one unit. Exactly. I can still field an intercessor squad. I just haven't. They're a Fortis kill yeah, team. Indeed. So, yeah. Uh, moving across to the only other unit. Any guns here? Uh, well, they've advanced. So even if there there's a couple of bolt guns, but they're not assault. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. So we're going to go over here instead, of which... I think we agreed only these front two guys can actually shoot that way. Tragic. Tragic. Tragic, tragic, tragic. So. That looks like a frag cannon and a bolter? Yeah, the frag cannon range to hit is the uh, the Assault 2 variant. All right. So it's two shots. Okay. Hits on that because that, it's an assault weapon. And it wounds on strict seven, so threes. So two wounds, and it's AP minus three in the Assault phase, so in the tactical option. So that's, that's that. That's that. Yeah, we've just got my bolt gun to do, but I need to check uh, what rounds he's using, because he's using special issue ammunition. Okay. So I'm just going to look through the But they're, they're not going to get back up from being decked until you do that. Yeah. So it's, gonna... it's, it's not a feel-no-pain roll. I, I, I absolutely refuse to do it that way. Ooh. Check in the book. See, what I could have done was when these stood up, I could have put them over on this side and got closer to you. But that, what would that have been, boys and girls? <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> they get up where they fell. Because the corpses were here. Oh, I can't find it. No pressure. There isn't. Yeah, just... These books are somewhat confusing sometimes with how they're laid out, because they put Crusade right in the middle of everything. Yeah, if they could put that... I won't finish that sentence. All right. <laughs> nice. So it's a rapid-fire weapon, but we didn't stand still, so we have one shot. Yep. Um, so I could choose between Dragonfire, Hellfire, Kraken, and Vengeance Rounds. Uh -huh. Vengeance Rounds are usually the good ones because they're two damage, but mm. Necron, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is use Hellfire Rounds, um, which basically means I add one to the tax wound roll. Okay. So we're going to hit on A3. He missed. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! That's the end of that. Well, now uh, we know for later, right? We, yes. <laughs> I, I will totally remember it. I will, yeah. What... <laughs> Uh, now they could technically shoot 
because he can tell them to shoot in the direction, but they advanced, so they're not going to shoot. None of them have got assault weapons. No, they they're advanced. rapid fire here and heavy. Ah, I thought they were carbines, the ones at the front. I thought they could... Never mind. They're, um, they are a rapid fire type. Um, my, my bad, misremembering. I think they're Oculus Bob. No, they're marksman something-somethings. Gotcha. Who knows? That is the end of shooting. There are no charges. Okay. Do my worst. <laughs> do my worst. Well, let's see... And by do your worst, I mean do badly. Let's see if the bre... That's not very nice. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's Paul. charming. No, at roll two fives. The bre... Uh, no. Roll two fives. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Yay! What are you guys doing? <laughs> okay, the circuits over here are overloading. They are going... The drawing on deep-seeded code, which is telling them they are being overwhelmed. <gasps> Morale... Uh oh. Was that six? It was a five. Oh. You killed ten, mate. Yeah. Oh, what did you have to roll? Just a one? Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were fearless. I guess not. No. Oh. It's old Necron. And then now, below, I mean, Necrons shouldn't run away, but they're phasing, they're phasing out, basically. Surely death is sweet release for them. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Jump! And they can't reanimate because they ran, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they can't reanimate because they ran. Maybe they'll just damage so bad they'll phase out, right? By ancillary fire and shrapnel coming through. They're firing... Some of, that, some of that will be the case, yeah. but it will also be the case that they're, they're, the unautomatic part of the... Their brains will be computing what's going on, mm. and they will have battle instructions deeply coded into their, into their firmware. Mm. And that will be saying to them, withdraw, withdraw, yeah, you've taken withdraw, casualties, withdraw, withdraw. Yeah. yeah. This site cannot be held. Preserve your number. Yeah, but and half the... of them are broken brains. <laughs> yeah, because she woke them up very, very quickly. <laughs> it's like me before I've had my coffee. And it's basically we're saying it's your fault. And wake up, if you don't feed me coffee and put me on camera, I'll just, ah! <laughs> Run. And there's no Lord with a resurrection orb or ghost arc or any of the usual toys Nothing. to deal with the problem. <laughs> uh, okay, so... What on Death Watch? Back... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Necrons, turn one. And the Necrons have moved inexorably onwards. This unit of warriors has, I was going to say advanced, but in a sort of metaphorical sense of the word. They've moved forward, uh, levelling their Gauss blasters at those verminous interlopers that are tinkering with the, our technology. <laughs> Vermin. Yeah, good. <laughs> and the wraiths are heading over to repair whatever they've done to it and also shoot some stuff on the way. Over here, the remainder of these warriors are marching inexorably forward. They're fewer in range of the particle. Gauss fl with the Gauss flyers. All right, I wasn't sure you got stuck on. <laughs> Gauss flyers. Just, just life. Um... <laughs> The scarabs hurling themselves towards the enemy, just like at the start of the video. Uh, the spiders following up, and the plasmancer staying back, ready to unleash plasma from her fingertips. Speaking of which, she is the harbinger of destruction, harbinger. And at the end of the movement phase, she rolls three dice, and the nearest enemy unit within 24 inches, on a full plus, they take mortal wounds. Oh. One. One. What a wound. What a wound. Let's put it on uh, this guy. Yay, he did something! <laughs> right, so let's do shooting. So these guys are going to shoot at those guys. And it'll take measure and die. So five Gauss Flayers in range. Strength five, AP minus two. Hitting on threes. Ten shots. That's some good shooting. Hmm. And wounded on fours, because that's less good. Be threes, because I'm only tough as four. Oh, the strength five! Sorry, I forgot that already. Yep. So that's... Se I'm glad you're here. <laughs> How many you see, seven? It's solo hammer. That would have gone straight through unnoticed. <laughs> seven, did you say? Seven, yeah. Seven. Okay, so I mean, what well, you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven shields. Or all, all dog shields. Yes. Yeah. So uh, four up saves. Yep. So that's the guy who's injured is dead, and that's one injured. Wow. Wow. That's some good saves. Those dumpsters give you plus one to save, which is why it's four plus. They do, but it's yeah. minus two, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm, in my head, dumpsters are three plus invulnerable, but they're not yeah, anymore. Yeah, four plus invulnerable. They're not anymore, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Casualty. 
Got one. Okay, now we have the particle beamer. Uh, no, it's two particle beamers. I knew there was something wrong. It didn't feel like enough dice. Oh. Two particle beamers from this first spider. Uh, hit on fours. Strength five, wounding on threes. Threes. Uh, three. Three, two plus saves, I think? Yeah, no AP. plus one, yeah. Yeah. They live. Okay. Storm Pink. shields. Oh, yes. Now. Now, we come over here. This is the scary side. Well, we'll start with a less scary thing, because they won't be in range afterwards. <laughs> um, the, <laughs> the two cannot... <laughs> Well, well, maybe they will. Oh, you've got to leave, you're leaving him yeah, on, aren't you? Yeah. All right, we'll Not do those after. Yet. Yeah. Right, so this unit warriors are rapid firing with their uh, Gauss Blast... Gauss guns. Yeah. I'm going to play two stratagems. Command points each. One, two. Disintegrator capacitors. Short version. Rolls to hit of a six automatically wound the target. Mm-hmm. And Relentless Onslaught rolls to hit of a six, automatically create two hits. Now, they're not both auto-wounds. They don't combine in that way. This will do an auto-wounding hit, and this will just generate an extra hit that goes into the pot that have to roll to wound. And I've remembered... I've forgotten my re-roll of wounds because I'm Zarakhan twice now. Oh, uh, oh. No, 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 no. This is fine. It's fine. I, I don't think there's been a game where I've remembered it yet. <laughs> well, you remembered it now. Yes. And have you done any mortal wounds to me? None of it was mortal wounds, was it? No. No, okay. Right. 40 shots, hitting on threes. Yes. Tragically, I haven't got anything I can buff them with, but that's why lords are nice. Never mind. He's asleep for now. Night night. Okay, it's 40 shots. We are resorting to the dice bucket. <laughs> There's some sixes. Looking, looking for sixes. I'm hoping for lots of sixes, but never mind. So, one, two, three, four sixes I can see. Oh. One out of 40 shots. Ah, never mind. That's all right. So, that's four extra hits. That's four auto wounds. Yeah. Let's put those there. Right. And then I'll take one, two, three, four of the misses. For the wound dice. And put those with, with hits. Then after that, it's removing all the others that didn't hit. Could have, uh, they could have shot better, but they're sleepy. They could have shot better. Just a bit tired. They've not had the caffeine protocols engaged. I still need the bucket. Right, wounding on fours. Some. One, two, you three, a wound, by the way. four. Reroll one wound. Oh. No. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, plus four. Seventeen saves, sir. Seventeen saves. Meh. Seventeen. All right. Seventeen. Four up saves because they're minus one, right? Yep. Right. If you could fail 16 of them, I'd really appreciate it, because that's how many I need to get through. I've a couple. Oh! So that's a dead guy. That's a dead guy. That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. He's hurt. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five and a half die. Five and a half die? Yeah. Wow. That's not so bad. So there's uh, two and a half left. <laughs> two and a half left. Okay, so we will fire the... Whilst you're picking up your oh, casualty. wait. Sorry. There's three left because the first failed wound, wound goes through. Yeah, he patches it up. Yes, yeah. So there's one has a wound still. At yeah. Point. Okay. Uh, and we'll fire the particle casters from the wraiths. Only two are in range. Hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Rerolling one of the wounds. Mm -hmm. Two more normal saves, please, sir. Two, three up saves. Fail once and that half wound is back. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's important. It would have been a dead guy. Exactly, exactly. So it's worthwhile. Uh, I'm going to take the poor iron snake. I like him. He is dead. So that's five dead in total. That's five dead in total. Morale is a thing. Yeah. Sadly, for Space Marines. Two armies that should be fearless fighting each other. Yeah. 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 I think that's all my guns. 
right, at this point, I need a tape measure. Okay, a couple of charges. First off, we'll do the scarabs are trying to hurl themselves at those interlopers in the tomb. Need a nine. Don't get a nine. <coughs> now, the wraiths need a ten. Oh. That's not a ten. Uh, the warriors must defend the tomb. I don't know how far this one is. I don't, I don't really want to pass, to be quite honest. It is a five. Five. Oh, no! no. Oh. <laughs> they're, all, they're very sleepy. <laughs> they're very sleepy. Yeah, just, you know, they got, you've got to insert caffeine protocols. They've, they've only just phased <laughs> in. Their brains are readjusting. They have been prematurely woken. Mm. And these constructs have been in repair mode for eons. Maybe the routines that go into defence mode are a bit slow. The pathway's corroded. Yeah. S- Space Marines. <laughs> Morale. Oh, yeah. So, we lost five. Their leadership, eight. Okay. So, just, I don't know. They're fine. Five, six, seven. Yeah, they're fine. <sighs> We're Death Watch, baby. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. You should be fine. Yeah. This is like, we lost five of our guys. Still three of us left. Well, I'm not sure they're actually dead. A few of them, are, they're one, maybe one of them's taken a hit to his armor and it's locked up. Mm. It's it's totally seized. Then other one's probably bleeding out and just resting on the floor with his bolt pistol, taking pot shots. I feel like the salamander is going to come over and just cauterize it. And he's like, I did, one wasn't yeah. even bleeding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah. One of them was just doing covering fire from the ground whilst people are retreating. <laughs> a couple of them have been ordered to the back. Guard, go guard the exit. You're exactly. not, you're not fit for the front anymore. That kind of thing. Yeah, you, guard our way out. Guard our way out. Yeah. So these Absolutely. are not necessarily dead. Yes. And even the ones that have hit the ground, there a lot of those will be in rapid healing comas. The membrane over their bodies will be starting to wax over pretty quickly. The Susan membrane, and also yeah. the point to note is this engagement is happening in about two to five minutes. This entire battle. Yeah, it's two to five minutes. It's running, planting charges, shooting. People are falling over. So at the end of this, they might be down for two or three minutes. And at the end of the battle, after we finish, they get back up again if they've secured the yep. area. Yeah, a lot of these might be dragged out by their fellows. Some of these might be fit enough to retreat, but not fit enough to fight on. Sorry, exactly. to withdraw. Yeah, fighting, fighting withdrawal. We love it. Okay, <laughs> All right, I'm going to brace myself for Death Watch turn two. This is going to hurt. And here we are at the end of the Death Watch movement phase. And there is one fewer power conduit on the table. The action from last turn was completed uh, at the start of this command phase. And that power node was successfully destroyed. The kill team that destroyed it then advanced around this building, heading towards the next one. Getting a four, not quite close enough. Then the uh, then command... Lieutenant Lieutenant Riker, you can yeah. see why I'm getting confused. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Riker, bounded with his tiny flappy shoulder pads, and has <laughs> has hero landed with his thunder hammer on this power conduit. We decided before the game we needed to. Be- I wasn't looking at the camera. I wasn't pointing at him. Oops. <laughs> it's after midnight. I apologise. Uh, it would have been much more heroic if I'd been filming the thing. Um, <laughs> He's hero landed and smashed it with his thunder hammer, and he's going to keep battering it until the start of his next command phase. We said at the start the range was going to be an inch to uh, start messing these things yeah, up. Yeah, basically old engagement style range, right? It's yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this unit has decided that this is a potent threat. A lot of brothers have been incapacitated Mm-mm. by the. Inc- do not like. Do not like. <laughs> do, 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 yeah. <laughs> Kill <laughs> now. Uh, over here. Uh, librarian uh, Cadicia Notorium Cadicia Notorium has run up to this psychic node plunged his fingers into the energies and is channeling the spite of smite the smite (laughs) of the emperor into the energies and uh, he may not make a psychic attack this turn because he is he's doing an action but he's pouring his brain power his mind energy his lightning bolts the wrath of the emperor is going into this alien technology, whilst these guys with hammers are going to play squish the bug. <laughs> squish the bug. Like the rat. And over here, 
Uh, these guys are just moving up, watching the backfield, ready to move left or right, depending on the situation. And we've got some Necron Warriors in, in our sights and also some uh, Plasma guys staring off at these uh, these big spider constructs over there. Yeah. Um, mm. Pain train. Yeah. <laughs> we've got one that's unengaged at the minute. <laughs> Still, I'm gonna. Whoever's left gets a turn to get you off them both. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Right then. So no psychic phase. So we must be on to shooting. Yes. Let's start here with this entire squad firing into them. Okay. Dice time. So the kill team opens up. What have we got? So we're gonna start with a specialist ammunition, the hellfire round, which is plus one to wound. Uh huh. So we're hitting on a three. He missed again. <laughs> he misses oh, every no. time. <laughs> So next we'll go on to the sergeant here, who's using his combi belter. So he's combi, got combi plasma, so he's going to start with the bolter part. Yep. Hitting on a four. He hits. He wounds on a four. He wounds. That's minus one. Com oh, the combi part, right. Yeah. Saving on a five. Yes. You, you save. And then the plasma part. Not overcharging, I should say. There's no point. And then a two, I believe. No. Strength. Uh, it's be strength Se seven. Six. Six. Yeah. Strength seven, tough as so four. Nothing there. Then we move on to the two... Frag cannons, who at max range are using their heavy projectile version. Yeah, big thud thud. Yeah, rather than their close range scatter shot style version. So they're hitting on threes. Yeah, that. Yeah, and they're very much that. Yeah, wounding on two uh, threes. And that is. Reroll ones. Reroll ones. Well done, Paul. Thank you. I missed anyway. <laughs> so that is at minus. I can remember things. Hold on, I can't. It's minus three. Because we're in the tactical doctrine again. We are. Yay, thunk thunk. Then we have the shotgun, who's only in range with one of his attacks. And he has two shots, so he hits on threes. And he's strength five, so he wins on threes. And that is minus one. one Saving more. on fives. No, thunk two thunk. more. Then thunk. the Infernus Heavy Bolter, the last thing to fire. The flame apart is out of range. Uh, it's just Heavy Bolter otherwise. So it doesn't hit at all. At all. Yeah. He wants Maybe let's just put the extra rounds into the ones that have already... Gone down. Yeah, getting that overkill in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. Um, so how many did I get down? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Uh, I'm going to spend that CP on overkill on that squad. Okay. Because they're the bigger squad. So six is uh, okay. to reanimate. Six is to reanimate. We're rolling ones because warriors. Oh, I'm glad I spent look that. At, look at those fives. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They are all casualties. He's definitely flaming or shooting the ones that are on the ground. Okay. Yes. Now, Lieutenant Riker yes. levels his his combi weapon. Well, he's probably just maybe something akin to a pirouette. He smashes it with the uh, the hammer and fires it on the backswing. And then, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Boom, smack, boom. Yes, indeed. Yeah, very good. Um, so he hits on twos, and he's using his warlock trait to enable him to shoot. He hits. Boop. Uh, is it threes to wound? Or strength eight? Uh, toughness five. Okay, threes. He wounds. Four AP. plus invulnerable save. Wow. Ooh. No! D6. Hup! For three. <sighs> they have three. Zoop. Yeah. Oh, I thought they had more. Uh, oh. No. However, reanimation protocols. Three fives. So I need to get. Well, I just had three fives. Do it again. <laughs> oh, I thought you had it. <laughs> nope. oh, poor, poor Wraith. We have a Wraith down. We have a Wraith down. Ooh. Okay. Let's go over here. So we have three. Bolt guns in this squad. Yep. They're going to use the hellfire rounds as well, so plus one to wound, and they're all going to shoot into these warriors over here. Because then these guys have a bit more of an option to shoot other things if they'd like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, threes to hit. Oh, they missed. Did you, are you rerolling the one for any reason? No, not to hit. Not to okay. Hit. And then it will be plus one to wound, so threes to wound, and rerolling ones. So that's three at. Uh, Minus. Just dash. Because they don't have the tactical doctrine, they've got the, the assault doctrine. Ah, yeah. Which I think we mentioned. I'm not sure if we did. Well, I spent a CP to put them in the assault doctrine. <laughs> you told me, and then I said we'll cover that in the summary. Yeah. And we didn't. Priority doctrine. Ad ad doctrine. Yes, you spent a CP to put them into the assault doctrine. It's you one of the things it. that Death Watch can yes. do. Yes. That we forgot about. Yeah. And they they killed two Necrons, maybe. One one Necron. Oh. AP dash, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes, yeah, a save, innit? Yeah. And yeah. he gets back up. And on a five. They kill zero Necrons. <laughs> oh no. Well, it looks like you just have to get the intercessors to do it. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I say we're in half range. Br bolt. Bring it on. Bring it on. Uh, I forgot what range bolt rifles are. Are they 30? They so are 30. I am in half range. Cool. Good to know. Six. Oh, this feels like a lot of dice. One, two, three. Yep, I was right. This is a lot of dice. Feels like a lot of dice for seven Necrons. <laughs> yeah, and then the plasma will speak. So, threes. Warriors. Yeah. Is it Miros wants to hit against warriors? Uh, wound. 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 So if... I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to say that at least <laughs> four or five more times. It's all right. Fours to wound. Rerolling those ones. So I was going to is... wait till you'd move the dice away and then go... There were two ones there, mate. And you uh, went, oh, yeah. But you yeah. remembered. I remembered. You let the side down. Uh, minus two. Five at minus two. Sixes. Hey. One. Cool. And then two plasma incinerators. Come on, plasma then. So, not overcharging. Threes. <gasps> and then... Threes. Uh, threes. Rerolling those ones. None to... Oh, There's a weird three in it. I know. Yeah, it's like oh, it's a two. It's a two. It's a two. It is. <laughs> that's why it was in the bin. I pulled the dice out of the bin. That, so that was a two. That didn't wound. <laughs> that's cheeky, isn't it? Yeah, I remember. I, I pulled the dice out of the bin. I tidied the room earlier because it was an absolute state. I thought, why is there a dice in the bin? I remember now. I threw it away because the two looks like a three. <laughs> that's quite upsetting. <laughs> it's now going back in the bin. <laughs> Hopefully I will not forget and in another six months pull it out of the bin when I empty it. <laughs> so that's just your two five up uh, reanimation or your many five ups because uh, that will go straight through. Yeah. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you noticed that's a weird three. <laughs> it's because it's a two mate, pardon. <laughs> five pluses. Two to get so, back up. Uh, is that six? Yes, two get back up. Bum, bum. Any ones? No ones. No ones. No one. All right. Now we go on to the best phase of the game. The charge phase! <laughs> no, it's that's debatable. Whereas the fight phase is the best. The charge phase is just like the pre -lead. The pre. Yeah. So It's like pre-drinks. It's a two-inch charge. Go on, I'll see your phase. Oh. No, we're in. You're in. You're in. Let's go wheeling in. Do some... We'll, we'll come back to you in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so you're playing a stratagem, Death to the Alien. Yes. Oh, I like it. I, I can hear them yelling it as they charge in. <laughs> just a lot of angst because it's bugs. <laughs> Death to the Alien. Yeah. Okay, so you've just gone through a whole bunch of dice and you've got nine attacks with the heavy... Heavy thunder, thunder hammers. hammers. that do a flat... How many damage? Four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you're hitting on... Uh, uh, we're hitting on threes normally, but it becomes fours because it's a heavy thunder hammer. But we're rerolling ones because Death of the Alien. Well, it's Get, like, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I think you'll kill him just with those. We'll see. Because as I said before off camera, this Nova Marine, don't think he's ever killed anything. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How many attacks has the Nova Marine got? <laughs> he's got. Uh, so he has two base, one for shock assault, one for Death of the Alien. He has four. Four. There you go. So now we'll know if the Nova Now Marine we'll know. Him. Right, Space Wolf Sergeant and the Nova Marine hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. All right, Space Wolf Sergeant gets some re-rolls. There we go. We're wounding twos. On twos. <laughs> I think we're killing on twos. You are. So one, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, he has killed two Scarab bases. <laughs> Yay! Well done, Nova. Woo! So the Nova Marine has finally found the on switch on his Thunder Hammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey! You know they die a lot more easily when you press this button. <laughs> okay, what's next? Uh, we're going to use the Black Shield. Yep. Who has just for the audience, he has three attack space because he's a Black Shield. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then he gets plus one because he has two close combat weapons. He gets right. another one for shock assault. Yep. And he gets another one because he's yelling death to the alien. Because he is. Yeah. So he has six Thunder Hammer attacks, and he hits on twos normally. So he's hitting on threes now. I feel crazy. Threes. He misses twice, and he wounds on kills on twos. And not, he not, not killing because it's three damage for a thunder hammer, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. So that's three, and that's so. so six two bases. Two bases. And now the other lads will have to fight. I'm sorry to put them to so much inconvenience. Yeah, guys, they're like guys. We can't get involved. So there's twelve attacks. <laughs> they hit on threes. 
re-rolling the ones. The one, singular. Now these are strength four, toughness four. Toughness three. Toughness three! Aha! Threes! And these are AP minus one. Uh, oh. So that's one, that's six. Oh, is there one left? Yep. Yay, now, I would have got reanimation protocols with these, so if yeah. one of them had survived, because you, you roll four dice, you roll the number of dice equal to the number of bases, it so lost, yeah. I'd, have, I'd have got some, yeah. as opposed to so I, none. We thought, I thought maybe it was a bit of overkill to shout death to the alien, but it no, wasn't. It was no, perfect. It was spot on. Yeah. Well done, guys. Let's uh, go towards the big one. <laughs> All right. That'll save me the walk. Yeah. Come at me, bro. And that's the end of the charge phase. And no, the that's the end of the fight phase. End of the fight phase. End of the fight phase. End of the punch bit. Yeah. Oh wait, sorry. I should have I should have gone slightly that way because I'm still. I don't want you to shoot my car at the calendar without getting at least close to him. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, he, I, defend I'm, the guy doing. Guys, weighing it in a bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to bring the pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, they lost a bunch. I think they might be able to fail on a six, and I'm sure. Don't need to check. Cool. Uh, you didn't lose anyone because it was your turn. Hmm. And uh, can the wraiths fail? No, not on that. No. Right. <sighs> Target priority. <laughs> Necron turn two. Okay, so almost at the end of the movement phase... We have... So, the Plasmancer has activated the... Orb, I can't remember the name of. The big vortex grenade of exploding doom death. Is it a solar pulse? No. no. It's not a stratagem. It's, a, oh. it's an upgrade. Uh, it's like an orbital... It's like an ion strike or something. It's a launch strike thing. No, it's literally a little, a little orb that he throws that activates and turns into a, like a warp rift. Uh, but it, apparently it does D3 mortal wounds, so it's, it's a very potent warp rift. Like, like Tickler Marine. Yeah. It's a Cryptic Arcana, and it is called uh, the Quantum Orb. Ooh. Yes. So, these warriors redirecting to uh, do nasty things over here. Ouch. The wraiths are going to throw themselves at this thing that's attacking the energy. Yeah, that thing we, is called Lieutenant Riker. We need energy. <laughs> we need energy. We don't need that thing. So we're going to kill that thing and then fix the energy. Mm. Mm, energy. Uh, similar over here, the spiders are going to go and uh, smash up these things. Yep. Apparently. Uh, these warriors are going to shoot at... This bad boy and try and kill him, possibly charge him, depending. Uh, he's also damaging the energy. We'll see how see how desperate it gets. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful energy. And the plasmancer is potentially gonna charge or wail in or do stuff. See we'll see. Yeah. 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 Okay. So however, at the end of the movement phase, his slash her ability roll three D. That three is six. called Harbinger of Something. Roll, th roll 3d6. Force do mortal wounds to the nearest enemy unit. No. Oh, computer said no. Okay. So, straight to the shooting phase. I have six shots against this librarian. Mm. Do I want to spend a command point and make any of it any nastier? Yes. Yes, I do. I think we are going to... Use Relentless Onslaught for a command point to mean the sixes count as two hits. None of, none of those are sixes. Uh, okay, three hits. Strength five. Four. Wounding on threes. One, re one wound reroll. Yeah. All right, three. Three, five up saves is minus two, right? Yep. Yeah. Makes one fails two. He has one wound left. Oh! Charging is a thing. Yeah, charging is a thing. <sighs> These are nearer to that team, so we will pretty much have to wipe that kill team out because he's the sergeant, isn't he? The wolf? Yes. Okay. Right, the Plasmancer shooting at that kill team. Uh, assault D3 from his prism prismatic lance, it's easy for you to say. Hmm. Uh, two shots hitting on threes. Both hit. Strength seven, wounding on threes. 
No need to re-roll a wound roll. Minus three AP. So four up six, how much damage? Two. Two, so I have to do one at a time? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. There's two shields. Never mind. Oh, no. Boom. Okay, the Crypto Thralls are using their scourging eyes. Hitting on fours. Three hits. Strength five. Wounding on threes. One re-roll. I'm starting to remember. Three at minus two. Uh... So four ups of damage. One. One. Kills the one of the guys in shield and the other guy's tank kit. Okay, now we have the particle caster, the twin particle caster from that one spider. Woo. Your fours. Wounding on threes for strength five. One reroll. No. Oh, three. Three. Three saves of uh, two, up. two up, yeah. Hey, I'm glad it was two up this yeah, time. Quite. <laughs> yeah, quite. Right, eight of these Necron Warriors can see at least one of the infiltrators. Yeah, good job. Yay! Yeah. Uh, so a command point on... Um, dis- which did I use earlier? Was it disintegration capacitors? You did the extra hits earlier. This is the ah, right, okay. Sixes, so yeah. Disintegration capacitors. Sixes auto wound. Uno. Wounding on Four. fours. Rerolling one of them. Seven. Saves at minus one. Seven. Four up saves. All right. So first one goes through fails because of the Helix Adept. Is that, oh, is that every turn? I thought it was per turn. game. Yeah. Oh! It's a good little upgrade. It's, that's yeah. very handy. I thought it was once per game. Yeah. So basically, instead of being two dying, that's one and a half dying. So... Um, this, this, I'm going to keep that man because he's doing the bomb. Yeah. Uh, the Helix Adept's got to go, sadly, because of so how the order... Oh, where's the extra wound going? Uh, it's got to go on the Sarge. The Sarge is going to take the hit, so finish the shit. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Plumb the bomb! The particle casters from... Are they particle casters? I'll get the names right. Particle casters from the spider thing. But it might be the same gun. Particle beamer. <gasps> Pistol 2. You uh, just failed your Necron exam. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't pass an exam about any one of any of these <laughs> armies. Except maybe, maybe... No. No, I couldn't. No. Nope. Uh, five... Three. Wounding on threes. Rerolling one wound. Oh, no. I hope that get worse. Okay. So... <laughs> All right. So, we are... They fired... They fired... Everything's shot. Everything's shot. Okay, so we are heading down to Charge Town. Hey. Wraiths into Riker. Pretty sure they're in. <laughs> Boop. Oh, yes. Skitter, skitter, or whip, whip, whatever they're doing. Dink. Whip, whip. Dink. Uh, it's only Riker who's doing the action. The guy behind him isn't act- actioning yet, is he? He can't because no, he's not within not, an they inch. Didn't, they didn't make it, yeah. yeah okay. Uh, right. Um, warriors into the librarian over here. Seven. They have made it. Into <laughs> him? Yes. Oh, big charge. <laughs> well, hang on. I want to go round a bit. Because I might want to put a plasma monster into him as well. <laughs> it's definitely desperate. Spiders into them. Yeah, they're definitely. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Bit a bit it. Bit a bit a bit it. And uh, do you know what? I'll put the uh, no guts, no glory. I'll put the plasma. Oh, I really do want to kill that the guy. The throws are with him, right? And I bet you, no, it's a separate unit. They can charge, though, can't they? They could. Are they pretty choppy? But they are five inches. But I don't. What the plasma answer does not want to put herself in front of that. <laughs> so I wonder. Let me just check something. So the crypto thralls protect from melee weapons. So she's going to order them this way to be um, nearer the melee guns and help kill that. While she is going to jump into that. And I mean, well, I mean, why am I doing that? I'm going to get one shot with a thunder hammer in the face. <laughs> That is, that is literally what is going to happen. 
Literally. Literally. Death hmm. to the alien. <laughs> yeah, maybe she's just going to send the crypto thralls in and, yeah. They're, they're in. That was a four-inch charge. That, well, you measured it? Yes. Thank you. Yes, I did. She's going to stay put. Because... I don't blame her. Because that, that, you've got to come up with to interrupt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe oh, no. Uh, 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 I need to think who I'm going to activate first. And these warriors are going to go in against both these units as well. Five inch charge to engage both of them. Five inch <laughs> charge. Do they make it? Okay, so the wraiths are going to attack first. We need to remove this vermin from our machine, not spirit, from our, <laughs> our energy, from our gauss, from our gauss party. Mm. Uh, sadly lost a wraith, so uh, only four attacks, well, four attacks each anyway, only eight attacks, hitting on fours. Ooh. Perfectly average. Yeah. Strength six, wounding on threes. Yes. Reroll one wound. Minus two, two damage. So he has a two up save. Yep. So he has four, he has four wounds, and he has to make fours here. He is dead. He's incapacitated. Maybe he's maybe he thunder hammered the thing and got a lot of uh, k k kickback. You just think he's been smacking it for a very long time. And he never got never got through. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you going to interrupt me, sir? Over here. Yes. I'm going to fight some crypto thralls. Yeah, I was going to say they're, they're the ones you <laughs> want to mess up. So I have four attacks with um, his sword, which is called Duty's Revelation. Ooh. So he hits on twos. Nice. Rerolling ones. Oops, because of the Death Watch special rule. Thank goodness. Never mind. Uh, he wounds. He's strength five, so threes to hit him. Fours. Fours. They toughness five, are they? Yep. Fours. And uh, no. He's not core. Cool. He's not core. Cool. So one at minus four. That goes through. D3 damage. Blip. For three. I think that kills a crypto thrall. Let me just check. Yeah, they are 2 plus 5, they are 2 damage, 3 up save. So 1 goes down. Reanimation. 2 fives are needed? Ooh. No. So 1 has gone down. I will activate that other one. He piles in. Next, his attacks go up to 6, and his weapon skill go up to 3s. Because he lost his mate? No, because... Um, I'm within six inches of, of a cryptech. You are. That's a plasma answer. Yeah. Four hits. Uh, four wounds. Wounding on threes. Minus one. One damage. So four up saves and a fairly single one. He's dead. Oh, oh, he's dead. He's dead. He goes pop. So I don't take any objectives. This turn. Yeah. Right. Now the tomb spiders are going to try and hit that punchy death unit. Okay, now it's the tomb spiders. Sorry, the Canoptex spiders. Uh, they have five attacks each. At strength eight, minus three, two damage with their automation clause. Hitting on fours. Now, if I got the right type of cryptech, they could buff the to hit roll. But I have a different type. Of, uh, I have the wrong okay. type of cryptech. Hitting on fours. Five of them would be nice. Five, six is nicer. Nice. Strength eight. So wounding on twos with one reroll. Not needed. Minus three. Two so damage. I need to do the two fields. I need to do them one at a time. Yep. Or two at a time in this case. Yep. So four up saves. So one lives, one dies. Now yep. I have to do it one at a time. I'll get that in a minute. He lives. lives. He lives. lives. He dies. dies. Oh, what a hero until that point. Cool. Uh, so they're both gone. And the final one I'll take on the Nova Marine. So this is a minus two, you said? Minus three? Minus three. So he has a five up save, which he saves. Legend. Five up save? Wouldn't it be a six up save? I mean, you did roll a six three up. up. Three up save. Minus three. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I don't know why I put five up. Yeah. Because it's one in the morning. 
Oh, it is one in the morning, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be it. I've got a rod of six, eh? Yeah! Okay, let's fight back. <laughs> yes, probably yeah. wise. Let's activate this way. Right, Space Wolf. He has three attacks and then Shock Assault. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> right, he hits on fours. And we roll ones. One in yep. And then he wounds on uh, strength eight. Strength six. Threes. Threes. And then, so that's minus it's, it's, it's getting late. Yeah. That's eight damage. Minus how many? Uh, four? Five? Wait, oh, if it's at least four, it's enough. I'll have to check. I have to check. It's at the back of this book. Heavy thunder hammer. Minus three normally, minus four now, yeah. Minus four now because we're in the assault. assault doctor, yeah, yeah, okay. So that kills this one. Who's it? It, it was that one with doing it, wasn't it? Yeah, and now the. Oh, hang on, one. hang on, hang on. On a six, he explodes. He explodes. Now, strictly speaking, according to the rules, that shouldn't damage the uh, other spider because it's the same unit. Or the thing. Or the thing, but I nuts to that. Well, I think that's shielded from it. Yeah. Um, but. I'm saying he's... just one. Yeah, although, although because I'm Sautek, um, Zarek, but, because of my dynasty, yeah. I can shrug on five, which nice. I do. And then I take the wound, do I? Yes. What's well, a mortal wound for an explode within three inches. Okay, so my uh, my Nova Marine gets hurt just before he's about to strike. Yeah. So he has two attacks, plus one for shock assault, so three. Hitting on fours again, he hits twice. He wounds on threes, eight damage again, minus four. Minus four yeah. again. Oh, that it's the, it, it's the two naming yeah. death. I don't hammers. know why I didn't do them both at the same time, but <laughs> yeah. Does he explode? No, no. thank goodness. So he that well. Okay, that's 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 my army dead. <laughs> <laughs> or more to the point, that's the the real threat in my army uh, mm. eliminated. We're gonna move yeah. uh, this way. Yep. Consolidate there. Onto this thing. All right, and I will now activate the warriors and pile up into the infill traitors. traitors. Yeah. Okay, so six warriors in range, spending a command point on disruption fields, so they are strength seven, uh, strength plus one, which, <laughs> is, which is strength five. Yeah. I don't know where seven just came from. It would have been no difference. No, no yeah. difference, and that's wrong. Well. Can yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hit on threes. Feels wrong though, doesn't it? Yeah, no, no difference. Yeah. Uh, wo wounding on threes. Rerolling one of them. No need to reroll one of them. What the minus? None. Threes. He dead. And the last man with a haywire mine is left. But he doesn't actually have a haywire mine. <laughs> and he's got three he's, attacks. Uh, he's, got, he's in a bit of trouble. <laughs> he hits on threes. Rerolling ones. He hits every time. He wounds on fours. Yep. He wounds twice. No AP. Saving on fours. He kills one. Maybe. One goes down. Reroll ones for warriors. Gets back up. Gets back up. That's the first time that's worked. Yeah, it is the first time that's worked. Yeah. That's it. So, morale. Uh, I lost two in that squad. The leadership eight. They can't fail. Okay. Uh, he lost one. He's leadership, eight. leadership seven. He can't fail. Oh, yeah. That's how uh, that works, isn't it? Well, actually, he's lost two he because lost two. he was shooting. He's leadership seven. Yeah, he can fail on a six. He can fail. No, he's fine. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> he's just swinging his mine around. <laughs> <laughs> he's clonking <laughs> them on the head with a mine. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that going to blow up, Jeff? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to press the button. Do you want to take your thumb off the button whilst you're hitting them with it? <laughs> okay. So, both of those... Attempt to take out those power conduits repulsed in Necron turn two. Mm. Let's see what the Death Watch can do in Death Watch turn three. Okay, so the uh, the one remaining guy with a mine has uh, who understands the Codex Astartes knows he can't wade through all these and achieve his mission. So he has fallen back, and his battle brothers are coming up to play merry hell over here mm. with that phase sword eyeing up the wraiths, uh, tuning it to the frequency that he's detecting from his helmet. So he knows um, the 
the frequency he needs to use <laughs> in order to match their uh, their immaterial resonance. That, that sounded good. Yep. Uh, well, maybe it did. Uh, over here, this kill team is still just about in range of the massive vortex grenade that might hurt one of them. Um, <laughs> the plan over here, these guys are just beating up this power node whilst the shooting is going to annihilate the Cryptek who has foolishly sent her Crypto Thralls out of range so she can be targeted. <laughs> we, no! didn't know. we didn't know. One of, one, of the, one of the range things is six inches. I thought the other range thing was six inches. It turns out the being safe from shots range is three inches. No, that wouldn't make sense, Paul. It would no. be in the same range is too easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's plasma shots that are going into the big Crypto Thrall because it's a beast. It's an armour thing, yeah. Yeah. The other's going into the uh, Cryptek because she looks like she's just purely made out of energy and one spark could detonate her. <laughs> and then I think the plan is to assault the remaining three warriors and destroy them. Yeah. Um, as you mentioned over here, yes. I'm going to use a CP on Priority Doctrine Adoption uh -huh. to put them into the Tactical Doctrine. What what's what's the army in and what's the general wide? It's uh, assault doctrine now across the army. I this I haven't used devastator at all, so I used tactical twice already. Ah right. And I spent this once to put someone in assault. That's now over. The whole army's in assault, so I'm using this to put these guys back in tactical because they're the shooty squad with all the assault and rapid fire yep. weapons. Yep. And I want to shoot them. Yes. That's mean. It's a little bit mean. Um, let's start over there, shall we? Oh. Okay. Okay, so two frag cannons. Yeah. They're finally in range of their strength six minus one, one damage thing. Right. Uh, which is 2d3 shots, but it's blast. Ah, so, full. Uh, yeah, so 12 shots from the two cannons. Hitting on threes. They are wounding. Any of your rolls of ones or anything? Mm, no. And that looks no. like a four. Was it definitely a three? I rolled that as I moved it away. Right. So, right. And then it'll be uh, threes to wound. This is re-rolling ones. So that is... Minus two. Okay, so saves yeah. and sixes. Yes. One save, so five fall down. Yep. Then we will do the Infernus Heavy Bolter, which I'm just checking the Flamer profile on it. Because it's called a Flamer. There's a lot of guns in the squad, and they're all a little bit different. Because they're Death Watch, and they carry what they want. Okay, it's heavy, this one, so it won't get extra AP. So it's heavy D6 on the Flamer. For six, Weep. it's firing both parts. I should add, so it can be minus one to hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. um, so this is strength five, so threes. Uh, Reroll on the one. So this is one, two, three, four, five at minus one. Saving on fives. One save, four more go down. Uh, then the heavy bolter part, which is hitting on fours. Knock over the warriors. Ah, die! Might be a bit of overkill here. Um, so, fours. No, cool. Happy. Then we've got the sergeant with his uh, combi plasma. So, combi plasmas and rafferties would fire both. Yep, so, yep. combi plasma hit on fours. Uh, didn't overcharge, there's no point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Threes. Uh, Rerolls ones because of the thing. Wounds, minus a lot. So, good plasma. Boop. And then the regular bolter, fours. Misses twice. Okay. Now we've got two more guys to go. We have the shotgun. Oh. Now the shotgun is finally in flamer range, if you like. He's using dragon breath rounds. So it's assault D6. They never mentioned this in biotransference. With one. Oh, one shot. Doesn't wound. That's sad. I finally got him in range. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dear. Whoosh. Uh, and then we've got the this guy here trying once again to fire hellfire rounds with plus one to wound. And he hits on threes. He didn't roll a two this time. He finally did it. Now he needs threes. There's the two. <laughs> That's minus one. Five up. No. No. Pop. Okay. Uh, That's that squad fired. And you haven't got any command points to spend the thing on, have you? On overkill, no. no. They already put them into the corner. Right. Eleven five up reanimation protocol test re-rolling ones. Look at all those twos. So four get back up there. Before we get back up. Ooh. Okay, so we have six bolt rifles shooting at the Plasmancer. See yes. ya! <laughs> so, threes. Ooh, missed a few times. Which is basically air. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot of yeah, 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 right, yeah. 
Uh, what strength is it, toughness is she? Four. Four, so fours to wound. Uh, we rather no, one. Because she's not a... Oh, troop. okay. So that is uh, four. That's at, a three. That is three <laughs> at AP minus one. Saving on fives. Oh. She's got four wounds? She's got four wounds. Right, she's alive then. Um, and then we've got uh, the two... That was unexpected. Yeah. They missed a lot. They, they did a miss lot. a lot. But again, look... Like you say, she's, she's made of air and energy. What, yeah. what are they shooting at? We didn't think we were shooting at Eldar. Anyway, um, into the Crypto Thrall Plasma, hitting that many times. Yep. And then wounding on threes. Yep. Minus four. Minus I'm, four? Yeah, Plasma Incinerators. Pop. Dead. Probably should have fired them the other way around, you know. Okay, that was the monster. Yes. And finally, Hand Flamer going into the Warriors. This many shots for five. Five, five hits. If he kills anything, I'll be surprised. Strength three, so five. Five. Uh, one. Saving and it's a on. pistol, so that's AP minus one. Failed. Yeah, Does it get back up? Ow. You have to knock it down before you know whether it can get back up. No. No, it doesn't. So, you... are you suitably surprised? Mm. Yeah, I am quite surprised. You said you're going to be surprised. I am quite surprised. That's not a surprise expression. Yeah. Well, I've been using black templars, and there's a naturally minus one. So I'm used to the hand flamers they have is doing okay, but this uh, he was surprising. He's done well. Um, he's, they're going to go charging now. Yeah. And they're going to go charging as well. Yeah. So them into the warriors. Little charge. In we go. We. I'll move them properly in a minute. Yeah. And then over here, another little charge. Yeah. That's better. Off we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so starting over here, knowing that I could interrupt if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what we got here? So we've got five regular dudes with three attacks each. Yeah. And they're all going to be AP minus one now. Right, uh, yeah. They just have a four-up invern, right, these guys? But I, they have a three-plus regular save so and that becomes a four-up invern. It forces the invern, and we'll do the sergeant afterwards because he's got a fun weapon. It used to be a three... I mean, it, the, them having a three-up save makes no sense with that one bit of it being invulnerable. They used to have a three-up invulnerable save, but it's been hit with the you-can't-have-a-three-up-invulnerable save hammer. Mm. As has a lot, yeah. Yeah. Um, cool, so they're hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Yep. Uh, no ones, just one, two. Well... Uh, okay. It's very disappointing. You should have mm, more that's ones. Very sad, yeah. Um, and then we'll wound on. Let's tough as five, right? Five, yeah. So fives, and they're not re-rolling anything here. Oh, that was not a five. So we've got one, two, three at AP minus one. So you four up in ones. Four up save. Wow. Kills a guy. Great. Now, Sarge, you need to perform. <laughs> uh, he has four attacks with a Xenophase yep. sword, which ignores invulnerable saves. saves. So any that he go, he wounds will go straight through. Yep. So he hits on three. Does he ignore armor saves as well? It's minus four. Okay, then yeah. it goes straight through. So um, threes to hit, re-rolling ones. Ooh. Uh-oh. Um, he's strength five, so fours, fours to wound. Fours to wound. He wounds only once, so it's one damage goes through. That's all it is, one damage. Sad face. Sad face. Yeah. Now, does the other Wraith get back up? No. No, no, no. Lin. Cool, now your Wraith gets to... Uh... Oh, I get to fight over here, don't I? Yeah. 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 I need more do, dice, do, do the Thunder Hammer. Do the Thunder Hammer. I can do the Thunder Hammer. Uh, so he has three attack base, plus one for Shock Assault. He gets on fours, we're running ones. There's the one. And he'll kill on twos. Twos, yeah. Hmm. Oh. He's true. ones, it's true. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he pops one. <laughs> now I have to get the other... Seven guys to fight. Right, we've got three, three, uh, three. Well, do three guys. That's three dudes. There's if... another three in the back. Yeah. So they hit the uh, time. Reroll ones. Yeah. Come back. Uh, and then they wound on fours. Rerolling the ones. This is all at AP minus one. Yeah. Seven. No, that's eight. I can't count. Dead. Pop. Do you roll fives? See if they get back up? Not if the unit's been wiped. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. But out of, yeah, out yeah. of principle... And you see, what used to happen was they would then, back in the day, they would join the nearest Necron Warrior unit when yeah. they re -and. But it could mean they jumped two feet across the board. Ooh. Yeah, which could be pretty gamey, couldn't it? It's like, God, kill me, kill me, kill me. I want to jump. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, start yeah. moving this way. Okay, Ooh. right. This Wraith, then, has uh, four attacks back. Mm. In on fours. 
three hits. Strength six, so wounding on threes re with one reroll. Yeah. Two at minus three, two damage. I have one storm shield in this squad, so each one I fail okay. is a dead storm shield. So he's fine, and the second one, he's fine. He's fine. What a storm shield man. Yep. Missed all his shots, but he's here to take the hits. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the end of um, my turn. Okay. In my, are you within six inches of the uh, quantum orb? No, I consolidated away. Uh, they had a feeling. Oh. This guy's accidentally within. No, nah, he's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boom, this part of the tomb disappears, which would apparently have not injured ten of those marines. It would only have injured, like, <laughs> what, one it guy. Sucked into a warp. Yeah, a warp the others would have all just sort of doom, fallen into the the <laughs> circle left and then trudged back out of the game. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, <sighs> right. This is suboptimal. Start of the turn, living metal. He regains a wound. He's Goes full. to two. He only lost one. From oh. The yeah. oh, right. And yes, of course. I, I did the thing wrong. And because of his relic, he regains two wounds and goes back up to three. She regains two wounds and goes back to three. It's because in the Indomitus book, it's uh, it's a she. And I keep forgetting and then remembering and then forgetting. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Right. So, relatively straightforward, this. Okay, so the Plasmancer's moved in over here. Hopefully she can stop people tinkering with her devices. If her body gets destroyed, she'll just phase out. It's fine. The Wraith can fall back and charge the same turn. So it's fallen back. The Warriors have moved up for the shooty, shooty, shooty. And the chargey, back in the slashy, slashy, hacky, hacky, dead, vermini, vermini. Mm. I, think I've, I think I've hit some kind of echo feature on my... Voice box. It happens at um, oh, 1.26 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, dear me. <laughs> End of the movement phase. Do I electrocute anybody? Yes, one mortal wound on that unit. Car, car, block. Right, okay. Then, shooting into that unit with D3 shots from my... Gun. Prismatic Lance. Hitting on threes. One hit. Wounding on a three with a reroll because Zarakam... Minus three. Six up save. No. Two damage. Oh, the sergeant goes. But the black shield is still there. Okay. The black shield is always the last one left. Right, I'll stab that one up in a bit. He's leadership eight. <laughs> I'll stab him up. I'm going to hit him with my stick. Charge the black shield. Yeah. I get one attack. <laughs> He's got two wounds. <laughs> I do two damage. Oh, okay, okay. With my one attack. Okay, we'll see what happens. I hope he doesn't die. He's a legend. Right, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 shots with disintegration capacitors and the other one. The sixes and the sixes. The sixes and the sixes. Open fire or gauss weapons. Want to see those sixes? Oh, three of them. It's three extra hits and three auto wounds. Yeah, all right, okay. So, oh, that was a one. I think that was a one. So, this isn't that good. All right, so to put those three hits back in. Yeah. Then these are rolling to wound. Fours. We're rolling one of them. Yeah. So that is nine at minus two. Minus two. Uh, I've got no, to... no, no, minus one. Minus one. Okay, I've got Nine. to do three up saves on the shield first. <laughs> two at a time. There's one shield. So three ups. He's dead. dead. Right, that's easy. That's made it nice and straightforward. Four, four up saves. So dead, dead. So there's, there's uh, the, the shield and two other guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the shotgun guy because he did nothing. And this infernus heavy bolter man. Because the sergeant needs to stay for morale. <laughs> okay. Right. The the wraith is going to charge, and the warrior is going to charge. Wraith. Yes. Warriors, we'll yes. yes. Cryptech, come on, baby. Yes. Yes. Want to get involved? Oh yes. Okay, there's no CP to interrupt, so we're just cracking on. Mm. So the warriors using disruption fields again to get them to strength five. Uh, eight attacks, one each, hitting on threes. They hit on threes. Cool. Five hits, wounding on fours. One reroll to wound because of Zarakan. Four. I thought it was threes to wound. Strength four. 
But you gave him plus one to wound it. The three is a wound, so it's five. Yeah. You're right. Huh. Thank you. I was just surprised they hit on three. I didn't know that. I don't think I've ever seen him contact. Well, they always used they always used to be referred to as mech, marine yeah. equivalent, because they were strength four, toughness four. Three, three. Weapon skill three, ballistic skill three. But when it was the number were sorry, weapon skill four, ballistic skill four. When it was yeah. the number with the minus and the thing, mm. and the three up safe. They used yeah. to be. They used to talk about marine equivalent and guard equivalent. Okay, so three. So mech, yeah. mech would be all the fours and three up. Gek would be all the threes and uh, and five up. Nice. Did I do anything? Uh, I failed one. Okay, right. The wraith. This is the dirty one. Yeah. Fours. Fours. No. Maybe I'll kill that guy. Yes. Minus three. Minus three. Six up save. No, it's no. a one. The silver skull bites the dust. But dum, dum, dum. Okay. Now. The, oh, 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 I remembered something. Half remembered something. Technically, it's the start of the fight phase. So I, I, I'm going to do it now. At the start of the fight phase, roll a d6 for each enemy unit within six inches of this model. On a four plus, that model takes a mortal wound. So there are two units within six inches of the oh, Cryptech. Do you want to roll one at a time because it's important who gets wounded by what? It's unit, not model. But he's one model left. Yes, I know. That's why I have two dice, one per unit. So the big unit on oh, a yeah. four plus. This is what I meant, sorry. They yeah. take a mortal wound. Hop, 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 hop. Slide at the back. And uh, the other one on a four plus takes a mortal wound. Ooh. Takes a wound. In reality, it makes no real difference because if I kill it, if I hit him and wound him, it's two, two damage anyway. Yeah, two damage weapon, right? Okay. So weapon skill is three plus with a single attack. Hits. Strength user, so strength four. Fours. Fours. Yes. Sarakan, reroll. No. What was that? A squeaky thank god? Yes! Oh. Praise the Emperor! Alright, so Black Shield, he has three attacks. Uh -oh. Plus one for Shock Assault. Uh -oh. Plus one for having two uh -oh. weapons. Plus one for having a lightning claw because he's going to stab you instead of smack you. <laughs> Which we just need to find out. But he rerolls all wounds with these, so. Okay, he's going to go lightning claw, so he hits on twos. Yeah. Rerolling ones because you're an alien, doesn't need to. <laughs> he's going to wound you on. Uh, strength four, toughness four. Yeah. So fours, rerolling all failed wounds. He fails two wounds. It is minus three. Uh oh. One damage. Yes. yes. Phased out. The black shield is a legend. I'm typing here. Stab. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose that conduit. Yep. Right, you got some attacks over here. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, they're gonna smack the wraith. Okay. Because he well, might kill well it. yeah, because Wraith. Yeah. Yeah. Sergeant hits on threes, rerolling ones. He's not doing so well. He's a bit he's been a bit shaken up. Wounds on a four? No, nothing. And then the other lad hits on threes, rerolling ones, he does better. And wounds on fives. Wounds once, minus one. Save on a five. <gasps> no. Nope. damage. One goes down. It was the it was the Wraith. Oh. Yeah, so it's it was. The five. You're quite right. You did say. On the race. What did I roll to save? Uh, one. Right. <laughs> you got in it. in most in most parlances, <laughs> that is a fail. <laughs> yeah. Um, a, a one. I would say I would say quite a successful phase for the uh, the death watch. Okay. Well, I lost. It was eight some left. models. You lost seven or eight. Right, so you had 14 at the start of the phase and you got... Six, I, had, eight, I had 15. 15. I've got 8 left. So 7, that is a fail. Oh. So 1 phases out. And there's 7. 7 two, left. Seven. 1, 2 more phase out. Mm. To be fair, they've got the right idea. <laughs> Let's book it, boys. Okay. Right, let's see what the Death Watch do it's in turn four. What's the first thing that happens in turn four? <laughs> the Thunder Hammer goes through that power conduit. <laughs> yeah. That's why he didn't use the hammer. He was busy he was stabbing the girl with the knife whilst hitting the hammer. 
stabbing the girl with a knife. <laughs> with the, like the lightning force. I'm yeah. very tired. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so turn four. This kill team have gone wheeling off onto this power conduit that does not appear to be in any way defended anymore. <laughs> The Black Shield, fresh from butchering the uh, the girl, <laughs> as as Sultan put it. I didn't say butchering. <laughs> <laughs> I just said stab him with the knife. <laughs> he said stab the girl with the knife. Oh, Never mind. Oh, this new video's going to get flagged. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, it totally is. <laughs> That's right. They, they look at the first 30 seconds and Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> um... And uh, so you're going to charge in, and the guy with the mine is going to charge in. Basically, you're mopping up here, trying to, and then then you're going to set the charges and blow things up in turn five. Yeah. Okay. So is there any shooting? No, because everything's in combat. Okay. Do some <laughs> charges. Yeah. So the black shield needs. Um... I didn't even measure it. Pull five. It's a five. Don't roll less than a five. He's in with a seven. Yep. He's on. He's, he's on that dice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he was. He moved. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Just, yeah he's okay. Dink. Yeah. Right. Let's start with the black shield. Okay. Death to the alien. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> all right. So uh, he's not going to be greedy. He's going to do it all into the wraith. He's going to do it with a thunder hammer too because it's fun, right? So <laughs> we're going to. Fun. <laughs> yeah. So he's got three attacks, two weapons, shock assault, death to the alien. Hitting on threes. Okay. Rerolling ones because it's an alien. Oh, he misses. It's our time. Well, you're on one of my planets. You're the alien. Yeah, but Imperium thinks everything's theirs. Um, strength uh, eight, toughness so five. Threes. So threes. Threes. Reroll. Uh, not, no, no. Not troop. And that's that many invulnerable saves. It can be done. You fail a single one, though. Oh, you did. <laughs> At times like this, you wish you re-rolled. <laughs> no, no, good lord, no. <laughs> um, cool. There's the race. Splat. Now that you've told me he's never been killed, I just want to kill him. Yeah. Well, hopefully he'll be back at the end. We'll see. Um, this guy with his three attacks is yep. going to punch a warrior. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he hits on threes. He rolls ones. Because alien. Didn't roll very well. And then he uh, wounds on fours. Minus one. Pass. It's passed. Now defend to fight first. Yep. So you can punch one, two, or three. Yep. Well, they're um, a unit, so... Yeah. So we'll have two into the guy with the mine and three into the other guys, because that yep. feels appropriate. It three does. into the other guys. One hit. Four to wound. Oh, sorry. Last command point on strength five. Yeah, three's to wound. Reroll, because Zarika. Yeah. One save. Uh, three up. Yeah, yeah, that took its time. And it did. <laughs> then the other guy, two hits. Nice. Two wounds. Die screaming. He lives screaming. Oh, he lives <laughs> screaming. He's still screaming. Ah! Okay. Uh, no one went... told me to be aliens. <laughs> I didn't try the devil much. There, so no shock assault this time because they weren't charged. Yep. So three from the sergeant. Hitting on three, three, one, and ones. He finally hits. <laughs> and he wounds on threes. No re-roll because it's not a one. And that's minus four, one damage. Man, man, ah. So it kills two for now, two fall over. And then the other man has uh, two attacks, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Nope. And he needs a four. No. So they knock over two. One gets back, back up. Hitting you with your own technology over there. There's four left. And is he, is he a character? No. Okay. But he can um, heroically intervene like a character for Spender CP. Ah, which you don't have. Until my next turn. But you wouldn't heroically intervene into your in your turn, you'd do it in my turn. Yeah. So, saying, that's just one thing. so my, so stop worrying your sluts. So my turn, uh, no shoot, no, no moving, no psychic, no shooting, no charging. Fighting. I'm going to spend a command point on Disruption Field, so I'm strength five. If I survive, you hitting me first. Because it's your turn. <laughs> because it's my turn, it's your turn to go first. Oh, right. Okay. Well, let's go again. The sergeant's got to do well at some point, right? Yeah. <laughs> Three attacks hitting. Yeah. yeah. Threes. 
threes. Rerolling ones because they're Necron Warriors. There we go. Minus four, so it kills, takes out three. <coughs> and then his mate hits on threes. And then he fours. Minus one. Two at minus one. And the Necron Warriors all phase out. The Guardians of this tomb have been... <laughs> they would have moved, sorry, I forgot. The... No, no, yeah, you haven't had a go. Uh, you didn't forget, uh, you haven't had a turn. Oh, it was your turn. It was my turn. I'm not used to, yeah. You killed me on my turn. It's my turn to do this, and this guy just goes, oh, I'm so great. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't say a word, he's still it. And then by the end of the game... <laughs> And a single mortal wound. <laughs> no. No. And this mission is accomplished. Precisely what the loss of power to this section of the tomb will do, they don't exactly know. <laughs> put a lot of resources into but something they have, I'm not sure They about. have put a lot of resources into what they hope will be uh, reducing the, uh, the issues that they will face. They've just walked in like, hope so. <laughs> but... They've uh, they took a lot of a lot of models were removed from the table. That doesn't mean these marines are dead. A couple doesn't mean of, the necrons are dead. A, a couple of them, but we're not. We, we were already dead. Uh, it doesn't mean you're destroyed. It doesn't. No, it doesn't mean we're destroyed. In fact, the chat we're, we're really not. I mean, some of us might end up in a pile somewhere, spend waiting a few thousand years to be reassembled. Mm. But what's that against eons? Just blip. Yeah, exactly. You you wiped out the dinosaurs. In... <laughs> Were we filming when we said that before? I don't know. I can't remember what day it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a perfect time to end. <laughs> this is a perfect time to end. Okay, so uh, I, I, I'm trying to make the narrative flow, <laughs> but uh, so yes, the uh, the Death Watch do a uh, they've they've achieved their objective in spades. And they are withdrawing with their casualties. The casualties from a game perspective, not from a narrative perspective. These mm. Many of these Battle Brothers are fighting on and will be fit within minutes as their enhanced metabolism quickly repairs yeah. the damage. This was a lightning assault. It was indeed. Mm. And uh, the tomb powers down for the moment. Dum, dum, dum. If you want to know what happens and if the Salt by Captain. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Rafariel. The Captain Rafariel on the main chamber. You'll have to tune in for episode two, mm. which will be available in the members lounge. If you want to, uh, if you're interested, I said this at the start, and I can't do the word thing. Big thank you to all my channel members for your ongoing support, making the hobby dream a uh, reality. If you wish to uh, join, the, uh, become a channel member, either to support me or to see episodes two and three of this campaign. Point the camera at Sword and Paul. Uh, the of this campaign. Check out the description in the channel below. At which point, as you say, the tiredness is overtaking us. Yeah, so, much so I forgot to mention I have a channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we totally said we will plug your channel, yeah, and I think we forgot. Right, yeah. so tell me about your channel. So I'm Salt and Plays on YouTube. Um, do a lot of hobby videos every two weeks. There's a hobby video uh, where I, you know, weather a tank or build a part of an army, do something with a knight, whatever. And then every Friday, apart from for days like today where I'm off filming with Paul, um, there's a stream where myself, Monkey, Brep Scallion, and Winters SEO go and play some Warzone very, very badly. Um, and we stream it for everybody to watch and make fun of us. And you should definitely come along. There's lots of insults back and forth. It's great. absolutely, it's bantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite it's quite spicy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's there. I probably should have said this at the beginning. We we both should. <laughs> However. It is rapidly approaching 2am. Yep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was moderately coherent towards the end. I do apologise for the, uh, I mean, what must be an obvious degradation in sanity across the, I the, about the, it. the last hour. <laughs> so take care, everyone, and see you in the next one. Love you, bye. Say, but, no, no, no. Say bye, Sultan. Bye, Sultan. <laughs>